Hello, everybody. How are you doing today? My name is Tony Rizzano, and this is another episode of the world famous The University Love, the best podcast in one, two, three galaxies. Ladies and gentlemen, you and I, we just call this show Online Marketing Moves, and we are coming to you live today. It is late Friday night, early Saturday morning. It is midnight, ladies and gentlemen, and we are here recording, bringing you the best on the planet, all right? And today, we have a discussion for you. It's, uh, it's pretty funny. I was, talking to my, I was talking to my mother the other day, me mom, the other day, and she was talking about my brother. And my brother is a funny guy sometimes. My brother, he reads a lot of self-help books, apparently. I didn't know this, but my brother <laughs> reads a lot of self-help books. And my mother said something that made me laugh. And I said, that's more than, that's more people than what you know, sister. She said, your brother, he reads all those self-help books. But uh, when is it going to start helping? I said, what? She said, he reads all those self-help books, you know, but it I don't think it's rubbing off on him very well. And then I laughed, and she said, I'm being pretty serious. And I said, I'm pretty sure you are, but I said, you know, he's not he's not that bad. And she said, yeah, okay. She said, ain't nothing changed. She said, ain't nothing changed about your brother. He been reading them books for about the last two years. Ain't nothing changed with him. And I said, Ah, uh, I said, well, some people get into the self-help and they read a lot, but they don't really practice. They don't really, they don't really do the work. You know, they just sort of read the books, you know. And she said, what's the point of self-help? I said, eh, you know, it, it's it's supposed to help, but I said, you're supposed to read a couple books and then move on, not, not live in the self-help world, you know. And uh, she said, well, you better, you need to, you need to talk to him. I said, and nothing I could nothing I can do for this patient, you know what I mean, but, uh, <laughs> it just made me laugh, because I thought about all the people that, all the, uh, self-help gurus, and the self-help experts, and all the people you see on, online, you know, with, uh, you know, I mean, with the motivation, everybody's a motivational coach, you know, I mean, you go from Tony Robbins, to Kevin Hart, to, you know, E.T., the hip-hop preacher, you know, motivate, 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 you know, and, um, you know, in, in order, to, in order for you to go see them in person to, to hear some motivation, I, you know, Tony Robbins is going to charge you like $10,000, I'm pretty sure the, uh, the rest of them will probably charge you a pretty penny too, you know, and it's, uh, it's funny, it's funny because my mom was talk, talking about my brother and, and I just thought, you know, sometimes in life, you know, it, it's like, do you need, do you, it, it's one of those things, you know, it's like self-help is cool, but it's like, do you really need self-help? Do, do, do you really need all this, um, do you need all this rah, 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 six boom, ba stuff, you know? It's like, is it necessary? And it's, uh... It's one of those questions, you know, it's, it's hard to answer. Like I told you yesterday, I read a book and it's probably the best, it's probably the best book that I read about self-help and it, it, it'll be the last book that I probably really, really need to read about when it comes to self-help because, uh, I mean, it's, it's one of those it's one of those things. It's weird, you know. It's not that, you know, you're not seeking validation, you know. Most of us, you know, you should not, you you, sh you don't have to seek validation because first off, the one thing that we all should know about ourselves is we are great, you know, and you have greatness and your life is great, you know, and you're not going to really, you know, I, I, and I know right now I'm going to sound like a self-help person, but 
I'm not a, I'm not a self help person at all, but you know, if you if you think about your life, you sit back and you think. You know, you know. Sometimes we think. Sometimes we complain. We we, we gripe. We moan about our jobs. We moan and gripe about the money that we don't have, the money that we have. We gripe and moan about somebody we might be with, or just any and everything. And you and if, but if you sit there and you think about it, for mo- for the most majority of us, most of us have had more good things happen than bad. You know what I mean? But for some reason, the human nature, you just focus on the negativity, you know. My wife was telling me something the other day, and I wanted to tell her, you know, but I, I didn't have time, and I, I had to, I was going to work. And she was talking about all the trips that we should have took when we was younger, you know. And I thought to myself, I mean, that sounds great and all, but, you know, we're, 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 we're going to take a bunch of trips and then come back and what? And today we we have well, nothing to show for it, no no money, no 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 house, you know. I'm like, yeah, we 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 haven't taken as many trips as you wanted, but I mean, look at the bright side, you know. We li- we live in a nice little house. We have a we have a we have a beautiful child, you know. And uh, even though she did, you know, we we haven't fulfilled all her you know trip taking uh, skills, you know, but. I'm like, man, more good things has happened to us than bad. So, I mean, you know, I ain't want to tell, but, you know, because, you know, rule number 50 for all you guys out there, listen up. Little piece of advice. Never tell a woman to relax, okay? <laughs> Trust me. You don't want to do that. All right? But anyway, you know, more good things happen than bad. And, you know, happiness is not, you know, once again, I'm going to sound like a guru, but happiness is what you make out of the day. I remember I used to be on the road full time. I was full time on the road. I was truck driving full time. I mean, I was going from California to Seattle, Washington to Miami, Florida, up to Maine and all points in between. Okay. We was hitting all the spots and I remember there were some days you know, now that I look back on it, and I did it for a long time, and, you know, if, when you're in the middle of it, you're, you're complaining, you're griping, because you feel like you're missing out on stuff, you know, you feel like you're missing out on life, but, at the same time, if I, at the same time, you have to, you have to think, think about this, man, who else can say, nobody else in my family, not many people in my family can say, I, I could tell people, I've been all across North America, you know what I mean? Like, I've been to every state, I've been to, you know, Canada, I've been to Mexico, I've been all across the United States, and I haven't had to pay for, I haven't had to pay for any of it, you know? I mean, for the Navy and for the truck driving, my traveler has been uh, free, you know what I mean? And... I'm pretty content with that, and maybe that's where me and my wife we sort of differ, you know, with that. But you know, I mean, I had to think about this because uh, uh, you know sometimes I I would complain, but then I'm like, you know, my guy, how much complaining can you do? You got to you got to made pretty good, you know. You are here driving around the country, you know, cruising around the country. You get to stop in. I got to see one of my cousins uh we got to watch the super bowl together i got to stop in to see my family more often than most people get to see theirs why because i drove a truck you know and you know when i moved to georgia 16 years ago my family was stayed in missouri but i would go i would drive up there once a year twice a year but i would i would see them like every three or four months due to truck driving and sometimes i spent 20 minutes with them uh, one time I spent an, uh, 45 minutes with my family, but I'll tell you what, it was, a, it was, it was a beautiful 45 minutes and, um, it's just, it's not about, you know, th- things like that made me happy, you know, but the, 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 the greatness and the happiness, all the good stuff that you have, all the good stuff that you're looking for, it's already inside of you, you know what I mean? Like it's. It's there already. You just 
have to comb comb through it. You know, don't worry about you know bad things. Don't worry because bad. I mean, look, listen, things are gonna happen anyway. You know what I mean? Um, things are gonna happen. And you can't control. You can't control all that. You know. Like, my wife, she was telling me, you know, she's like, I don't want our daughter to get sick. Uh, she's going to get sick, you know what I mean, at some point. But it's just a matter of how sick and, you know, taking her to the doctor and taking care of her, you know. That's it, you know. And it's going to be tough and it's going to be, you know, sad that, you know, because you don't want to see a child uh, sick, you know, anything like that. <clears throat> but it's going to happen, you know what I mean. We both know that she's going to catch a cold. But what what can we do to prevent her from catching colds? We can, uh, you know, try to get her to eat healthy, try to get her to, you know, exercise, all the little stuff, you know, the stuff that you can control, you know, we have to do that. But, you know, self-help is one of those things where don't get caught in the trap of the self-help, you know, don't get caught in the trap of the, um, you know, looking for, looking for answers, you know, seeking validation and looking for answers because the answers are already there, you know, it's, um, it's just a matter of you doing it, you know? It's just a matter of you practicing, you you getting better at whatever you want to do, you know? It's like, uh, I remember when I first wanted to write, I thought, oh my God, I, got, I need to study writing, blah, 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 blah. I just need to shut up and write, you know? I read this book from Stephen King about about writing, and he basically was like, eh, hey, just shut up and write, will you, you know? Like, if you want to write, write, you know? If you want to, you know, be a car salesman, go be a car salesman, you know? Go learn to... Learn to the the trades you know go 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 learn your craft you know it's uh my wife she's she, my wife is on the verge of selling her her franchise her store you know she has a, a store a culinary store teaches people how to cook um uh, and she's she's on the ver she's about to sell that she's about 75 percent around december the second she'll be selling and she'll be staying home with the baby for a little while and so I remember when she first she first got the business. Her 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 boss at the time said, "Would you like to buy the store from me?" And my wife said, "I don't know anything about running a business." And I said, "Yeah, but now's a good time." And my wife she didn't pick up a book. <laughs> my wife did. My wife didn't pick up a business book. She didn't pick up a you know could could a business book help? Of course, but what she did was she just got right in the middle of it. She made a few. She made a few mistakes. She made a few bumps, but she took the skills that she already had. She took the knowledge that she already had. She applied it, and she made a pretty successful run out of it. You know, and uh, I mean, God bless her. You know, and she 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 says she's ready to take a break and you know raise that child for a few months, a year, you know, two years, you know, and uh, after that we'll see what she see what the future holds for. But you know, she's 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 an example of uh, just just going for it, you know. I had a friend, one of my best friends, you know, my best friend. He um, started a donut shop. He he didn't he never owned a business before, and he he got started. And yeah, he made some mistakes, and things happen. And now he's you know he has like two stores, and he's he's inside the stadium for the for the Atlanta Falcons and. He's 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 got a pretty good system set up, you know. He's at home sleeping right now, and somebody's at the store right now buying buying a donut, and uh, he's making money. So it's it's a beautiful thing, and you know those are just a couple of examples. There are pl plenty of examples of people that you know sort of got started in business and didn't really you know you know they didn't need any self help, they didn't need any motivation. You know, it's just sort of it's 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 already in you, and you know I'm not here to. I'm not here to, you know, you know, preach to you or anything like that, but I mean, if you want to get started, if you want to get started with a business, ladies and gentlemen, now is a now is a great time to get started because in times of uncertainty, times of unknown, we don't know what Joe Biden Joe Biden is having the the inflation monster is a coming. It's going to get it seems like it's going to get worse before it gets bad you know i mean what have you say it but i mean now's a good time to to you know whatever you want if you have any if you have any hang-ups if you have any hesitations you know get rid of the, get rid of those get started now now is the best time when times are high 
everybody wants to start a business. Everybody can be successful. But the people that, if you start now, and people say, oh, you should never start a business in a recession. Man, now is a good time to start, okay? Because you will be established. When that when the money starts coming back in for the for the for the for the jokers, for the middle class, you know, for the jokers that like to spend money, uh, you'll be right there to collect collect uh collect uh change, you know what I'm saying? And so ladies and gentlemen, don't I talked about this before, but I I I just found it ironic that my brother was in the in the self help business. I had to I had to chuckle, and I thought, hey, we better do a podcast about this, you know what I mean? Uh, yeah, don't fall, don't be like my brother, don't fall for the hype, all right? But ladies and gentlemen, um, like I said before, if you're going to read this, if you're going to do a self-help book, do one or two, don't do, don't, don't find yourself looking at 50 million self-help books, you know? Don't go from Tony Robbins to Mel Robbins to, you know... Bonnie Bernstein or you know, you know Kevin Hart, all these other people, you know what I mean? And uh you know, me myself I listen to a couple of people. I liked uh Jim Rohn. I used to I used to watch I used to, I listened to a couple of his audio books. He's cool, you know. I I I find him funny, you know. Um you know who I find funny, um but I don't know if he's a motivational speaker or a salesperson. But Zig Ziglar used to always make me laugh. Because he he used to tell the same he was spit he was spin these stories you know about being from you know Yazoo Mississippi and selling cookware you know and I always find him I always find him fascinating because he's from like an old time you know old old timers always make me laugh you know more than uh, you know if you're gonna listen to somebody listen to somebody that's like fifty or sixty you know I don't want to listen I don't need motivation from a twenty year old you know no offense to you twenty year olds but. You know, what are you going to tell me? You know, oh, man, my life is hard. When I was in high school, uh, the kid beat me up. Eh, hey, join the rest of us, will you? You know, get some, uh, you know, you want to listen to somebody self-help. Listen to somebody that had a few bumps and bruises along the way, and then they can, you know, they can they can rap to you a little bit more. But that's just my, that's just my humble opinion. But anyway, avoid the self-help trap, you know what I'm saying, ladies and gentlemen. Take action early take action often um get out there you know just do it you know it's better that you just start you know listen man things are gonna happen mistakes are gonna be made but at the end of the day you're already great you're already beautiful you're happy you're healthy and if you if you're not that way then get that way you know just shut up and get that way you know don't worry about it. Don't worry about outside interferences. Don't worry about your friends. You know, your friend might have a better job than you right now, but who gives a, who, who gives a, you know, who gives a crap? You know what I mean? At the end of the day, you, you are in charge of you. You make you happy. You know what I mean? So, back, uh, Monday for the official podcast, but this weekend we'll probably drop a bonus in there. So, thank you for listening, ladies and gentlemen. Have a good weekend, and as always, everybody, say it with me, everybody, as always, everybody, peace.